This presentation is about using visual feedback to improve free throw shooting. Using motion tracking software to observe release point and arc, it is possible to visualize the mechanics that produce both desirable and undesirable results. Upon observation and analysis, the necessary corrections can be made. In this segment, all 10 shots are analyzed on the basis of four criteria, form, release, arc, and follow through. In this session, both misses had a relatively low arc and a late release point. On the other hand, all eight made baskets had a relatively higher medium arc and an early release point. The release point for this shot was okay. It missed more because of the unstable release. Unstable release is when the ball slips out of the hand in a direction other than straight. In this case, the ball slipped to the right during release. The release point for this shot was slightly late and also unstable. It was unstable in the sense that it slipped to the right during the release. The ball must travel on a straight path toward the basket, which is ensured by total release stability. Before proceeding further, a brief explanation of terms. Form is the combination of posture body position and body motion leading up to and during the shot. Form should be rigid in execution, that is, consistent from one shot to the next, and smooth in motion, smooth as in one fluid movement. The preceding examples have been characteristic of good form. This is not. It is possible to have good form and still miss. That is due to inconsistencies in release. Release is the combination of release point and release stability. Release point is where in space the ball leaves the hand. Release stability is how the ball leaves the hand. Release should be both consistent and stable in order to ensure a consistent arc. Arc is the flight of the ball toward the basket. The ideal arc is medium in height and is consistent from one shot to the next. Follow through is maintaining form and holding release position until the ball goes through the net. The exception to good follow through is this shot right here. The best example of putting it all together is Dirk Nowitzki. From form to release to arc to follow through. He is extremely consistent from shot to shot. In particular, his form exhibits a minimum of body motion leading up to and during the shot. The more efficient the form, the easier it is to reproduce the motion from one shot to the next. Consistent form and follow through lead to consistent release and arc.
Every effect is the result of a definite cause. Slight changes in form, release, and arc produced a successful result, but the important change is not the result. The result is the effect. The important change is the method, the cause.